up to this point, I've tried to cover many, many diff different techniques and how we can really kind of spice up the light coming out of our on-camera flash, how we can avoid this the direct light coming out of our on-camera flash by bouncing it off of uh, groom's shirts, panels, walls, everything else, how we can improve it along the way by adjusting the color balance where needed and so forth. What I'd like to do now, if you've been watching these video lessons for quite a while, maybe we should get down to taking some really nice photographs of our bride and of our groom. So what I'd like to do, we have this beautiful church behind us here, and let's just walk through the church and see what kind of images I could get just with my on-camera flash. Once we finish this, we're going to come back, and we've got a couple other things I'd like to kind of share with you too. But at this point, let's see if we can get some really nice bridal portraits of our bride and of our groom. All right, let's get to it. We want to get some really nice images of Sasha right here, and I'm just going to give you a little preview of what I try to capture when I'm, I hate to use the term posing my bride. I think I would rather, I think the better way of saying that is really trying to get some beautiful photographs of my bride. Posing seems to be a dirty word in wedding photography. Nobody wants to be posed. Photographers don't want to pose their subject. But you know what? One thing that I do want to do is get a flattering photograph of my bride, and I know the bride and her mother and father and her husband are going to want beautiful photographs of them too. So anyway, here's a little insight into just quick casual portraiture. We can do a head and shoulders. We can do a half length. We can do a three-quarter length, and we can do a full length. So when I'm setting up the pose, I'm going to do, just going to try to do a couple half-length images right now of our bride. I'm going to let Aaron, my assistant, come in. To create the direction of light, we're going to use our 36-inch panel for this. So let's go ahead. And first of all, I actually want to orient my bride. So I'm, instead of having her shoulders come straight to camera, I'm going to ask Sasha just to turn shoulders just a bit. Also kick the left foot forward just a bit. Not quite that much. Just back a fraction all the way down the back foot. Let's center up the bouquet right here in front of her. Perfect. And another thing I do, like to do, too, when I'm posing the bride is I never really want to see her hands too much, so I have her just tilt the bouquet just slightly forward to kind of hide her hands. Also, I want the bouquet just a little bit lower and just tilt it back just a fraction more towards you. Just tilt it back because I can't see your hands anyway. Perfect. Right there. And I think that's kind of what I'm shooting for. And then also we're going to be sure that the veil and the gown is coming out here just about the way I need it here. I'm looking for kind of a triangle on either side, close enough for what we're doing right here. What I don't like is I don't like to see the veil come into the front here, so I'm actually going to take that, turn that back, and just, I like to have the veil just kind of splitting the shoulders, but that's all part of another, uh, another tutorial we'll do down the road here. So I've got a nice position of the Sasha right here, a uh, beautiful bride. The gown is accenting her face, the flowers in the proper position. Notice that I have Aaron over here with the big panel. The light's going to bounce off the panel and cross across her gown as well, creating highlights next to the shadow and the detail of the gown. That's very important. And also, I'm going to turn her head just slightly towards Aaron. Just turn your nose just a fraction, but eyes back to me. Turn your head a little bit more, chin down a fraction. What I'm doing is I'm actually decentering her eyes within the eye sockets. I think it's just a pretty way to flatter my bride. Okay, and Aaron, just orient that just a little bit more. Perfect, right there. My off-camera flash, or my on-camera flash is pointing over here towards Aaron, just a fraction. I'm setting up the shot right here. Great, great, great. Let's see what we're looking like right here. Looks awful nice again. Great, great, great. And we got really a pretty photograph of our bride right here. I'm going to move through a whole series now and just see what I can get uh, exactly of Sasha. So that would be a, you know, a th that would be a half length. Sasha, do me a favor. Just bring your flowers up just a little bit higher, a little bit more. Keep your body turned that way. Chin down a bunch, flowers even higher. Bring your head back around. Perfect, don't move. One thing I've done here, notice that I've always had Sasha's head kind of turning this way, kind of into the light. I think this is a beautiful look of her, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Aaron to kind of come around behind me, moving to the other side, and let me bounce the light off of, uh, off of the panel over here. You might have to, you're good, you're good. I've got Aaron over here. Bring your head back towards me just at perfect. Just bouncing the light right off the umbrella over there or the reflector. A little happier for me. Happy, happy. More teeth. Great, great, great. Again, bring the flowers even higher for me. Even higher, higher, higher. Chin down. Flowers closer to your face. Straighten up the head just a little bit for me. Good. Chin down again. Perfect. I'm going in pretty tight for this one. Let's just see how my light's looking. Looking pretty good. All right. Good, good, good. Let's see how we're doing here. Turn your nose towards me a little bit more. Flowers even higher. Kind of hide your chin behind them. Chin down even more. High, flowers higher. Good, good, good. Just concentrating right on the eyes right here. 
Floor is even higher. Hide your nose. There you go. Right there. And just look right above my, right above here at my forehead. And that'll just a little bit lower. There you go. All right. And you can relax for a second. So we've just taken a quick series of images of our bride. You can see that we have a beautiful direction of light with our off camera, or with our on camera flash. I'm sorry. And we've gone from the half length to some really, really tight images that are pretty darn exciting. How long does that take to, to make those images? Not very long at all. And it's a good, a good start on some really pretty photographs for our bride. All right, we're in an unusual setting here at the church. We're in kind of a kind of a side stairway, but we got this neat curve going all the way up and so forth. So I'm going to use my off-camera flash, bounce off of the wall over here on the right, see if I can throw a little bit of light on her face. We got a little bit of light coming in from this window. I'm going to see if I can beat out that light with a higher shutter speed and let this be the predominant uh, light source that's creating the direction for me and then let everything else work in the composition. So let's see what happens. Okay, Sasha, lean over towards me a little. Yep, good. Turn your head just a fraction. Chin down some more. Perfect, right there. I'm going to go in tight first. Let's see what that's looking like. Bring your head back this way some more. Little tilt of your head. Lean over towards me some more. Good, good, good. Hang in there. A couple more, good. Okay, pretty easy what we got going on right here. I'm going to zoom back. And let's see how the composition hopefully just kind of comes alive for us here. Happy, happy. Good, good, good. Turn your head towards me some more. But still a little tilt. Great, great, great. Again, good, good, good. Let's see how we're looking here. That's good. Uh, yep. And now flowers down. Lean over towards me some more. More. Chin down a whole bunch. Yep. Let that right elbow go out a fraction. Okay, good. Chin down even more. That's it. Let's see how that's looking here. Whoop, where's my picture? And again, now happier. More teeth, let that right elbow kick out a little. Chin down a little bit more, that's it. Hang in there. Good, good, good. And you can relax a second. All right, so we have some really cool curvy lines happening here. Great composition, and again, a nice direction of light with this flash bouncing off of that wall behind me, gave me a really pretty photograph. We're in another part of the church right here. We'll ask Joe to stand in, just to wrap up with a couple photographs in a minute. But I want to talk with you about one more technique that we can use another tool. What I want to do is one of, I think one of the prettiest views that we can get is a classic pose. It's called a profile view. And I think it's really when we're just looking at one half of the face. But now think about it again. I'm using an on-camera flash. And for a profile view, in fact, Turn your head away from me a teeny bit more, Tasha. Sasha, there you go, perfect. It's just one half of her face that we're looking at right here. But how am I going to take my on-camera flash? Because to put a loop light on her face, which means putting a shadow on this camera side of her nose, I've got to get the light way over there where Aaron is, bouncing off of that reflector, coming in here without any of this light right here hitting the front of Sasha's face. That's a whole lot of stuff going on, but let's see if we can pull it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take a minute, just kind of adjust the veil. Sasha, I'm just going to, this is just for demonstration. So I'm just going to let you kind of hold that pose for a second. Okay, chin down just a little bit. Okay, good. One thing on a profile is I'm going to clean up my, oops, sorry. There you go. Okay, just kind of moving. Perfect, we got the stained glass window there. That's kind of cool going on. I'm just going to kind of let her profile be against that plain area right there. She's going to be looking into that beautiful stained glass window. Let's see if we can pull it off here. Uh, chin down just a fraction again. And I'm sorry, i got to make one more adjustment since I shifted. I want to bring this veil back even more. Now you can hold on again for me right here. I never like to have the veil really coming out from under her chin. I don't think it flatters the bride. So I just want that nice, clean profile. Uh, Sasha, turn your head away from me a teeny bit more. Good. T very top of your head, tilt over towards me. Perfect. Eyes only, just move to your right. Just your eyes, not your face. Nope, too much. Go back. Right there. Perfect. Okay, let that uh, left shoulder drop down a little bit more. Good. 
bring the flyers a little bit closer to you and let that uh, right elbow kick out just a little bit from your right there. I know it's a very statuesque kind of a pose, but think of it as a portrait study this time, uh, just the way the classics, uh, the classic artists painted some of their some of their portraits. Okay, the challenge is to get this light over there and then not have any of it come from here hitting the front of her face. Because if I would just point this at her, I'm sorry, if I would just point it over where Aaron's reflector is, I got some of the raw light hitting Sasha's face. Let's go see what happens. And what I get is it almost looks like just on-camera flash, Well, which it is. Look, as I'm pointing right back at all you guys and girls in the audience, you see all this light right here coming right back here. I've got to keep this direct light from hitting Sasha's face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of a gobo here. And the way I'm going to gobo this is I'm going to use these four fingers. In fact, I'm going to use all five of my fingers to do this. And I'm just going to do that. Can you see it in the audience? I see everybody in the audience saying, no, I know, thank you very much. So if I do that then, this light then is just going to hit the panel. It's going to go below any light from hitting her directly on the face. The light's going to rebound off the panel and hopefully give me a really pretty fill light or a really pretty loop lighting pattern on her face. And with the dramatic setup with the stained glass window, it should be kind of cool. Let's see what happens. Okay, take our position here kind of low. I've got that veil creeping in again. Since we've gone to all this trouble, let's really make it worthwhile. That's good. Don't move your head back. Back where your head was. There you go. Okay, good. All right. Turn your head away from me a fraction. Top of your head over towards me a fraction. Turn your nose away from me a teeny bit more. Perfect. Lips together for me. Okay. Aaron, are we all set on your end? All right. Terrific. All righty. Let's see what that looks like. It's kind of a Tiger Woods putt. <laughs> it looks really cool. Beautiful light. Beautiful density of the stained glass wind in the background. Very, very dramatic. I'm going to take a couple more here just for the fun of it. Aaron, just bounce that light a little bit more into Sasha's face. Just, just turn it. Don't move. Just turn it. Yeah, there you go. You got it. All right, Sasha. Perfect, perfect. And again. Great. And again. And again, you can look at the couple of photographs we've been taking. It is just a really cool, dramatic light on her face. So anyway, uh, <laughs> like I said, this is something that I would not necessarily do at a wedding. I do it more of as an exercise just to kind of challenge us and to, to proving the fact that we can control where these photons are leaving the flash head, coming back, and really put pretty lighting on our subject's face.